Hello and welcome to your daily reading. So in today's reading, I'm going to be doing a love portrait for you. So this is where I put three cards on the masculine side and three on the feminine and one in the middle. Now you can think of your person, whether they're masculine or feminine, and I will connect to you and hopefully give you some insight, light and guidance on your situation. All right, so I'll put three on either side and one in the middle to connect them. All right, and at the end, uh, I'll clarify uh, the masculine and feminine in regards to what their intentions are for the other. All right, let's have a look at this portrait. And by the way, I am offering personal readings. If you are interested, my details are in the description box below. Oh, great fortune, that's wonderful. That's the one of the best first cards that could come out. Um, great fortune means something that is blessed, something very fortunate. It could also be telling us that there is a lot of money involved. Expected. <laughs> a lot of money that is expected from somewhere, from someone, whether it's you or your person. There is some expectation of a lot of money. So this is another masculine energy. It is actually not your person or you. It is more of a platonic energy, maybe a brother, a friend, um, maybe even an ex, okay? Somebody that is coming into the square because his back is actually facing that side, meaning that his front is coming into the square. He's expecting this expectation is connected to this masculine and he is coming into the energy. Now the next card is official person. Official person could be the military, the law enforcement, could be someone who does things straight and narrow. This person is um, someone that doesn't do things differently. They like to swim with the, um, I guess, with the tide. Um, they don't do things outside the square at all. They prefer to do things by the book uh, as they have been taught. That's why they're fantastic as a dis disciplined military on law enforcement. Okay. Uh, the feminine, so that could be you or that could be your person, depending on whether you're the feminine or masculine. Um, so she is thinking about this and she's looking this way. Um, so the energy of wanting to do things by the book, there is some money that is coming towards her that's expected. Um, it, it looks like she wants things to be done correctly, um, maybe even writing some wrongs. And this is some news that is behind her. Okay, so the fact that it is behind her means it is about her past, and this masculine somehow is tied to that. Now what is under the character is usually what is in their control, or what they've created, what, what is in their reality, what they've done. And this letter is um, something that maybe he's going to write to her. Okay. What's next? Journey. Travel. Progress moving forward somebody coming for a holiday okay this person could be military like I said now there is some money that is being poured over this progress or journey so this person could be something to do with like a visa because they do things by the book they are sometimes the border okay symbolizing a border like you know, the border between countries or um, states. 
So there may be some money that needs to be um, spent in regards to travel so that, you know, I guess I'm interested to see where the lover comes in. Um, again, there's a lot of money. Okay, so you got a lot of money times two in this reading. And the next card is obviously the lover. Interestingly, he is walking out of the situation. So yes, that is quite interesting um, because their backs are facing each other. He's thinking about this letter because what is above the character is usually what is on their mind. What is beneath the character is what is in their control or what they've done. So he's probably written a letter to this masculine and he's thinking about it. And she, there is some connection with her and travel and money to do with him. And this person is expecting some money and he's coming into the experience with her. So he's coming in and he's walking out. And this is the, the masculine at the start of the reading and that is the feminine. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify and get some more details. So angels and guides, tell us a little bit more about the feminine. What is her intentions? Could be a Virgo, could be you. Now we have the full, a fresh start. Virgo wants a fresh start. Now, if you're not the Virgo and there's no Virgo involved, it's a hermit characteristic. Now, the hermit characteristic has a lot of different meanings. Um, according to tradition, the hermit is someone that uh, prefers their own space. They don't get out a lot. And when they do, they usually hang out in the sidelines under the radar, okay, because they're a hermit. Um, they're someone that doesn't really like to, to be in the spotlight, kind of like, um, what, what is it called? Introverted, okay, a very introverted to the max person, like they don't want to be out there. They don't want to mingle. They're completely the opposite from the, the Queen and King of Wands, okay? Um, so this feminine just wants to stay low, under the radar, left alone, and start her life fresh, okay? There may be a lot of money around her because she's got a lot of money around her. So what about this masculine that's actually walking out of the scenario? Uh, and his, their backs are to each other, so they're probably in from each other's past. The world, he's put, he's turning over the leaf. Um, so he's he's like, you know, I'm starting fresh. I'm out of here. I'm going. See ya. Uh, he could also be someone overseas. So there may be some correspondence here. However, there's correspondence there and between her. And there's correspondence between them too. So it kind of looks like a bit of a triangle on some level. Uh, I don't know what this person's relationship is. So let's have a look what, what Tarot can say about this person. They have a lot of energy. It is a, it is a triangle of some sort, whether friends or uh, work colleagues or, you know, something. There is some connection here between them and them. You know, it's just like a, a trio of friends or something because you've got three of cups. Now, justice would probably be this card here. Even though he doesn't look like justice, he is justice. He is the border. He is also um, the military or something along those lines. Could be a Libra on some level, an entrepreneur, a Libra that is an entrepreneur. Now, they went through some kind of tower, uh, some kind of life-changing event has come in the way. Maybe that is what they're writing about. Uh, they're celebrating the law, they're celebrating. Maybe uh, a Libra was at a party with them or they met at a party. Um, you know, maybe celebrating entrepreneurship and making it legal. It's a tower, so I need to find out what the tower is because the tower is kind of always one of those cards that has a lot of information in it. 
Ten of Pentacles, celebrating tower, someone won the lotto or someone got a lot of money in regards to the legal system and we're celebrating and that's reiterated by great fortune and sudden wealth. So yes, it's a tower, sudden wealth, great fortune, there's a lot of money here. So whether that's you or your person, somebody's got a lot of money and it's sudden. It could be to do with... Um, you know, uh, contracts to do with work because Nine of Pentacles is an entrepreneur and justice is a contract. It's the law, a celebrating a contract, entrepreneurship, sudden wealth. So, wow, I wonder who that is. This person just wants to stay low, do their own thing, start fresh and live their life. And this person just wants to um, move on, maybe even go overseas. So... Let me know how this resonates. Comment below. I'm interested. And as always, I send you love, peace and light. Bye for now.